go with Jet Luchenko. Jet. Yeah, why not talk about Jet Luchenko? Jet. Um, worst case scenario, like, it's hard to come up with one just because, all right, if he's not good, they send him back, and right. then he gets to go back to his normal development plan. But I guess that would be, okay, he gets sent back, and then it takes him a little time to get over being demoted, doesn't make the World Juniors team, doesn't have a dominant uh, – junior season like doesn't have the 90 hundred points is kind of where he was last year stagnates a little and you okay well then what did he make the team for like if you just stunt his development a little i think that's the worst case Heck like yeah he just all right his draft plus one season was exactly like his draft season yeah i mean like dude it's there's something to be said the fact that he made the opening day roster so like yeah i agree with you if he goes back, I mean, he goes back. Like, what's the what's the worst that can happen there? But yeah, if, if his confidence is shot after, if this doesn't work out, his confidence is shot. That's probably the worst case scenario. But I mean, he's got to be mentally tough for him to be here at this point. That's what they keep telling us is about his maturity. That's one of the reasons he's here. And before we wrap up today, I'm gonna thank all of our diehards for joining us. Uh, if you're not a diehard, what are you doing? Allphly.com. Sign up to be a diehard. But for those who join us every day and who contribute by being uh, subscribers, thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah, and best case for Jet, he sticks all year. And, like, I, I don't even want to put a points total on it, but if he can be in that a little more than Brink last year, like 35, like better than – what did Sean Couturier do as a rookie? Uh, Brink last year had 23 points. So I, yeah. I wouldn't be mad at that if uh, if that's what um, Jet Luchenko is going to be. But I'm looking at Coots, his rookie year had 27 points uh, in 77 games. If Luchenko can be at like 30, because he's it looks like he's going to get power play time at least early. I think that's a best case where you see a little bit of <laughs> offensive upside on top of all the other stuff he can do. Uh, he sticks with maybe Brink and Faraby all year. Like, he's not holding those two guys back from creating the offense they need to create. And he puts up those 30, maybe 35. Is that too many to think for? That seems like a lot for a dude who maybe isn't the most dynamic offensively, especially at, you know, 19, 18 years old, like just turned 18. I think 30 points is the best case scenario for Luchenko. I mean, if he stays here for the entire season, he's like a regular starter. That, dude, that's that to me is everything. Because if he sticks, that's huge. Yeah, I, I think more than anything, is if he sticks and for good reason, you're like, yeah, look at what he's doing. Like he deserves it. I think that absolutely, um, that's probably a best case scenario. Absolutely, it's yeah. tough to put a a points total on I know. it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We all silly like the mayor. 